Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about another Daily Mail article and this is called Young Autistic Boy Impulsive Act on a Cruise Ship Sees Him Banned from Sailing and Forces Mother to Cancel Her Dream Wedding Aboard the Ship. The article was uploaded by Zoe Zizek in Australia. This is Daily Mail Australia. It was uploaded on the 2nd of this month and it's about a 13 year old autistic boy called Nathaniel. So let's get into it. 13 year old autistic boy Nathaniel has been banned by Carnival Cruises. He was banned during a cruise on 2016 where he bit a kids club employee when he got angry and overstimulated. This is during when his grandparents had actually disembarked on the boat for a day because he's been looked after by his grandparents and the grandparents were called back because he'd bit the employee. Nathaniel's mother had said she'd been forced to cancel her dream wedding at sea after learning her son had been blacklisted by the company. The mother had tried to book a cruise and was told that she could not board her son and the mother said she could not go ahead without her son being there on her special day. Nathaniel had previously been looked after by his grandparents as the last cruise they decided they wanted a day out and put him into the kids club but were shortly called back when they'd been told that this, that he'd be a staff member but the staff were aware that he had autism they were made aware of this before he was in there miss mckinnon nathaniel's mother said that she was dumbfounded by the revelation after this was years ago carnival cruises australia have released their own statement which i have here it says um they are sympathetic to the family's position but remain concerned after a crew member suffered a significant injury we believe it's way too soon to accept another booking but do not rule out or review the possibility in the future nathaniel in his own words has said that he has changed that he was very very young and used to get very very angry quickly my thoughts on this article as an autistic woman is yes nathaniel probably shouldn't have bit the staff member and probably was overstimulated and angry and getting frustrated so i can't really blame him but at the time, he they were aware of his diagnosis. They were aware that he had autism, so therefore they should have been trained to help support children such as him with special needs. Aboard the cruise ship, they obviously do receive training of some form or other, but they are a family company. They take families on board their ships all the time. So I feel in a way they deliberately banned a family because he had one minor incident and they have assumed that he was a bad child and that he'll do it again. This shows to me that they're not accepting of disability at all. I feel that they should let the family have their holiday. They should let them board the ship and have a nice time. But to ban him just for one little incident that he's apologised for and the family have apologised for, it shows that they didn't have the right or adequate support in place for Nathaniel. Nathaniel was autistic. They were informed of that. They were told that he was autistic. And as an autistic person myself, it when we get overstimulated and over angry, we do things that may not be right. We may lash out, we may get violent, we may do things that shock you. But I feel that Carnival Cruises needs to have more understanding of disability in general. This shows that they are very, very discriminatory, discriminatory towards the family. And to be honest, it seems that this incident was a bit prejudged and that they assumed that he's going to attack someone again. One thing I would suggest is that they that they invite the family back onto the cruise ship. They invite someone with autism to come and actually train them and realise that we're not all bad people and that, that this was just one isolated incident. I think Carnival Cruises were a bit too quick to ban the family. I think they didn't really understand Nathaniel as a child with autism and as a child it's hard to communicate that you do have some form of disability. So again, I think this was just all a miscommunication. I think that the family were mistreated and Carnival Cruises should have reached out to them and offered at least another holiday or offered a reason why they were refusing him point blank. So yeah, as an autistic woman, I'm a bit saddened. I'm a bit shocked that Carnival Cruises have done this to him. I think that that's a discriminatory move. I think they've not really considered the impact of what it's like for him to have autism so yeah i will wrap it up there guys please like comment share and subscribe for more details i will link the article in my video description and feel free to read it and i'll see you next time bye